Good morning, Circuit Riders. Welcome to Greenhouse. We are so excited just to go after the presence of Jesus this morning, go after prayer this morning, um, and just go in and, and worship. So I'm just going to pray, open us up, and then we'll get right in. Jesus, we invite your presence right now. We just consider it such a privilege to be with you, God, to stand in your presence, Jesus, to invite you into this place, God. So we just pray, would you get all glory this morning, all honor? We just honor you and recognize you, Jesus. We thank you for your love, God. We thank you for your death on the cross, Jesus. We thank you for the gift of your spirit and we invite you this morning. Would you meet us here, God? Would you meet us in our houses this morning, Jesus? We love you. We just want to pour out our love on you. Thank you, Jesus.
Jesus, we come here this morning because we love you. We love you, Jesus. 
Holy Spirit, we honor your presence this morning. God, I just pray right now in every room, in every house, in every home, Jesus, be glorified. Jesus, be lifted high. Jesus, be magnified. God, we have not come to play church games or or pray simple prayers, Jesus. We've come to behold the one who breathes out stars. Who the Bible says he holds the waters in the hollow of his hands. The God of glory. Jesus, we love you. We honor you. We bless you this morning, Lord. We bring you our love. We bring you our, uh, our, our presence into your presence, Jesus. And we just say thank you, God. Thank you for who you are. Thank you that your eyes are burning with love for us. Thank you, God, that you're the God of joy. The God of righteousness and justice. So, Lord, we just come this morning to worship you, God. We give you all the praise, all the glory, all the honor. God, we stand before your throne. And we ask today that you would pour out your spirit upon us. And that you would cause our hearts to burn with love in Jesus' name. So in Revelations 5, it talks about the, um, the elders and the creatures before God's throne. And it says, and they sang a new song saying, worthy are you to 
take the scroll and to open its seals. For you were slain and by your blood, you ransomed people for God from every tribe and language and people and nation. And you have made them a kingdom and priests to our God and they shall reign on the earth. It goes on to say, worthy is the lamb who was slain to receive power and wealth and wisdom and might and honor and glory and blessing. And I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and in the sea and all that is in them saying to him who sits on the throne and to the lamb be blessing and honor and glory and might forever and ever. Jesus, we honor you for the cross, God. We thank you for your sacrifice on the cross, Jesus. We thank you for your blood poured out, God. We thank you that you've ransomed us, Jesus. God, that there's nothing that we've done in our lives, God, to to deserve or to merit your forgiveness, God, but you decided that you loved the earth, God, and you decided to come and ransom the earth for your glory, Jesus. So we say, have all the, have all the worship, God. Have all the glory, God, all the honor, all the praise, Jesus. We glorify you, Jesus. Thank you, God. We give you all the honor, Jesus. It's all yours, God. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for your precious blood. Thank you, Jesus, for Thank you, Jesus, 
come on. In Psalm 97, I'm just going to read the beginning of it, but it says, The Lord reigns. Let the earth rejoice. Let the many coastlands be glad. Clouds and thick darkness are all around him. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and burns up his adversaries all around. His lightnings light up the world. The earth sees and trembles. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord, before the Lord of all the earth. The heavens proclaim his righteousness and all people will see his glory. We want to pray this morning that God would bring solution and that he would end white supremacy in our generation. And, and it says right here that, um, that God burns up his adversaries. Fire goes before God and burns up his adversaries. Racism and white supremacy are adversaries of God. So I'm just going to pray. I've been so gripped by the story of Joshua Cole Cooper and, 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 and stories like his that have happened over and over and over again. And I'm just going to pray that Jesus would come because he is justice. And there is no justice apart from God. He holds justice. The Bible says righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. And so, Lord, we just pray right now, Holy Spirit, that you would come. Lord, we pray first that you would bring healing. God, for, for every story, every family that's had to be a part of a horrific story like that. Jesus, bring your love and bring your healing. Lord, we just thank you for Joshua Cooper's life, God, and his family and his friends. Lord, we just pray right now that your presence would come and bring healing. And God, we, we know that racism is an enemy of your love. And so, Lord, we're asking that fire, the fire of the Holy Spirit would come, that you would burn up racism in our generation, God. Holy Spirit, we pray that you would come in Jesus' name. God, help us. Help us, Holy Spirit. God, we just pray right now, God, that you would amplify in this season the voice of African Americans in Jesus' name. God, we pray that the gospel of Jesus and the glory of God would come when they speak in Jesus' name. And Lord, we just pray that, um, that their voices, God, in this season would be raised to preach the simple gospel, to bring solution, God, in the marketplaces, God, in science, God, in, in the hospitals, God, as nurses and doctors, and God, in the church as proclaimers of your good news in Jesus' name. God, we pray that you would amplify the voices of African Americans in this generation in Jesus' name. Yes, God, we pray for justice right now, Jesus, in this area. God, we ask that you would forgive the sins of the earth, Jesus. We ask, God, that every time God, presumption has been in the heart of man to think one person could be more valuable or more important or better than another human. God, we ask that you would address that sin in the heart of man, God. You would forgive that sin, God, and root out that presumptive spirit in the heart of man, Jesus. We ask for the grace of God, Lord, to cover sin, Jesus. We ask for the grace of God to heal hearts who have been on uh, the receiving end of every act of racism, God, every act of white supremacy, of any type of supremacy, Jesus. We ask for your grace, God, your healing, your love, God, to meet, Jesus, that pain, God. And we ask for an ending of the sin of white supremacy in Jesus' name. God, end that sin, Jesus. End that presumption, God, that would say, I am better than you, or this person is better, or this person is less valuable because of this reason. Root out that sin in Jesus' name.
that you would deal with every hard heart, Jesus. We ask, Jesus, that you would touch, God, the heart of the church, Jesus. We ask that you would melt hard hearts, God, towards this issue, Jesus. We ask, God, that you would deal with every stone heart, God, every learned, ingrained behavior, Jesus, every stubborn heart, God, every stubborn view. Jesus, would you infuse your heart into the church, God, into every heart in America, on the earth, Jesus, yet that you would root out, God, every learned pattern, Jesus, every generational stronghold, Jesus, with the issue of racism, God, melt hearts today with your compassion, God. Yeah. Melt hearts today with your love, God. Melt hearts with your view, Jesus. We, we say, God, we repent, Jesus, for viewing or just for holding a human view, God, for holding a presumptive view and not having the heart of Christ, Jesus. Would you melt every heart, God, every presumptive heart, every cold heart, God. Touch hearts, Jesus. We ask for a supernatural, God, a supernatural encounter of your love, Jesus. Encounter, God, revelation, God, of your view of the earth, of your view of the human heart, God, of human value, Jesus. God, we ask, Jesus, for 80 million 
to be saved, 200,000 sent to the nations, God. We ask for a value of cultures, God, of the cultures of the earth, Jesus. We can't have just a single-minded view of what culture is valuable, Jesus, or what people are valuable, God. So we ask, Jesus, you would give a revelation to the church in America, God, of the value of the cultures of the earth, God, of every tribe, every tongue, every nation, God, that we would see the value and the image of God in every culture, yeah. in every language, in every skin tone, God, that you would give a revelation to your church, Jesus, of the image bearers of God in every people group, God, that every human bears your image, God. So how can we presume that a human is less valuable when they're in your image, God? Would you forgive every presumptive heart that would devalue an image bearer of God. God, forgive us of our sin, Jesus. Forgive us of devaluing your people, Jesus, of devaluing your face, God. Every time it was done in the name of God, every time racism was done in the name of God, you would cover that sin, Jesus. Melt hearts, God.
everything changed inside of me This is what we need We need a baptism of this love Come and drench America in this love And I could never run away I could never run away I can't run away from this love There is no Safe. There is no darkness. There is no heart that's too hard for this love.
I want to be one that carries your heart I give my heart to you God I give my mind to you you can possess me with this love Now just for a few moments, just begin to lift your voice to Jesus. Let him hear your voice this morning. us to love God, to love each other, to love you. Holy Spirit, pour out your love into our hearts.
equality with God something to be grasped but made yourself a servant Jesus thank you God that you took the humble road Jesus so we say yes to the humble road God we say yes to the lowly place to the place of the servant God God, you would touch every heart again, God. Thank you for meeting us this morning, Jesus. Thank you for pouring out your love, God. We ask that you would do it on your heart. Do it on each of our hearts, God, that you would pour out your love, God. Continue to do it, Jesus. Say yes to carrying your love to every corner of the earth, Jesus, to every tribe, every tongue. God, thank you. The Great Commission was your idea, Jesus. That you, that you are the one who wanted to touch every heart, God. So we thank you, Jesus, for your just huge love, God, your vast love, Jesus. We thank you, God, for coming to the earth again, Jesus. We can't thank you enough, God. We keep talking about it. Ah, oh, thank you, Jesus, for your love. Thank you again for your presence this morning. We thank you for touching our, our hearts, God. Praise Jesus. We give you all glory, God, all honor. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you guys for watching Greenhouse this morning. Uh, what a time together. We love you guys. See you on the next Greenhouse. <laughs>